So Multiverses has finally, finally done it. This update right here that's at 70%, this is ranked. I have been begging on my hands and knees for ranked since basically the day the game came out. And I am so excited to finally be able to load into the game and queue ranked. It has been teased in the menu with a little grayed out icon that you can't press for so long. And today I'm gonna press it. Okay, here we are, quick on play. Okay, okay, first off, we're up to a good start. There's a separate rank for 1v1s and teams. I mean, like, uh, this is a given, like this should have been a thing. Like, I didn't really think that it wouldn't, but I, it was a little bit of a fear I had. Compete against players in either teams or one versus one matches. Ranked matches are always a best of three set. Okay, I've actually seen on Twitter that this isn't true right now because right now you can decline a rematch and then the person that won doesn't gain anything, which is a bug because it says right here, there is always a best of three set. Earn rank points with each win, so you don't lose any with a loss. Alpha version of ranks is still November 15th. Oh yeah, um, this ranked mode is only a week long, like alpha, it's not even a beta yet. Um, So this is only a week long. I would say, my guess is that since season two is right around the corner, season two will be coming out within the next like 10, 15 days. Um, I would guess that that's when ranked like fully drops. When 15 rank sets and get a special ranked alpha profile icon. Okay. So this is going to be OG. I'd recommend going for this. When the game blows up in the future, this is going to be like an OG icon. So we're an appreciated. Okay. So these are the tiers. Grandmaster is top 100 players. Okay. I'm never touching that. However, I can get master. I'm very confident that I can get master. I, I'm never going to hit grandmaster. Well, I don't want to say never but there is a very very low chance i hit grandmaster and i definitely won't hit grandmaster in this beta i am not in the top 100 players on this game but since master doesn't have a player cap it's just like how much you grind and if you're winning i feel like i can hit master all right i've seen a lot of comments of people saying something along the lines of like how are we gonna have ranked when the servers suck they did update the servers i'm playing like a bot hold on i need to like lock in it's my first game give me a break here they did update the servers is what i was trying to say and um there's like this current thing it's only for pc which is unfortunate but if pc players are having better connection then in theory that means the console players would have better connection since the pc area is working flawlessly then in theory the console is like the only one that needs to connect instead of both sides having portable connection so it, i i hope that connections are better for console players as well but um for now the only thing that's been like confirmed is that there is a pc update okay i have all my bullets so i can just kind of go crazy here throw a saw to start wow it's like really laggy it's not that it's lagging it's that i think it's because uh, my pc is on display capture actually never mind go ahead and hit him there just proc the bullets then i can look combo going boom should be kale come on i deserve this wow shaggy is so unnecessarily heavy it's all good though gonna go for a chainsaw here wow he let me hit it can i spam all three there's go all right got the first stock feeling pretty confident here oh i messed up i messed up bad okay he actually just saved my life by hitting me there if he hadn't hit me i feel like i would have gone off the top wow okay there's that no get out of that i'm actually terrified right now because he can just kale me so early because it's shaggy you know Oh, I don't have bullets. I'm an idiot. I'm just sitting here pressing my shoot button. I don't have bullets. There we go. Making something happen now. There we go. I have bullets. Oh, no, I messed up. Okay, first match over. That guy was actually like not bad at all. I'm gonna have to rematch him though, I hope. I'm a fan of ranked matches being locked into sets of three, by the way. I think that that should definitely be thing. Yeah, see, I don't have an option to not rematch. So you can change characters though. I don't like that. So that thing I was talking about, that PC only patch that went out that helped servers, Tony literally just tweeted two minutes ago and said that it's released worldwide. So that means that everybody across the game should have like this um, better connection, like no lag, stuff like that. Me personally, I've only experienced three bars since that update went out, so that's great. I wish that you couldn't switch characters between sets. I wish that when you queued in for ranked and you selected your character, you were locked into that character. No matter what, you could not, you could not change that character until you queued again for ranked. I would almost hope that there's a separate rank for each character. I feel like even that could be cool, but I I don't know. That would be really, really tedious and annoying when you want to play multiple characters. So I actually don't think that'd be a good idea. I do really, really, really love that you're locked into the set though. I think that is like a very important part of ranked that needed to be a thing. And I'm very glad that that wasn't, in, you know, not an addition. I'm extremely happy that you're locked into the set of three. There's just, in a game like multiverses, there's too much stuff that can happen that just comes down to dumb luck or like random chance of like, oh, you know, things happen and you, you'll get cheesed and at times you know like i'll say the majority of games that you win or lose you should have won or lost but like around 10 percent or something you'll just lose to cheese or like lag or something so it's good that you're locked into that set now i want to see the outcome of this match i want to see what happens at the end of this 
bronze two new rank achieved okay i went up an entire rank oh wow they changed this wow uh, let me turn off my camera real quick so you can see they changed this whole like career stats screen oh so there's ranked season stats right here ranked one versus one leaderboard who's on top right now oh i i can't see it okay all right game two uh, it's a two bar um nope it went to three okay no nope, back to two can you stop paying attention to the server now and actually look at the match it is definitely a bit laggy so that's unfortunate so maybe it is still possible to get two bars guess i spoke too soon there uh oh i need to not use gunshots i'm about to get my third one back and there's like a whole new method of managing stripes bullets now that just like adds to stripe because beforehand like managing the bullets was much much easier and i i, I feel like now you have to actually pay attention to your cooldown bar so much more this bugs is uh this is interesting see i feel like the skill based matchmaking is a little bit messed up because the shaggy last match was much better than this bugs is Oh, wow. I could get the edge guard. And the Shaggy last match, by the way, uh, I looked at his like profile. Uh, like, you know, the uh, the stat that you can display on your character badge. I don't know what that's called, but he had like a thousand one hundred wins on Shaggy. Whereas um, this bugs, I, I don't know. I guess we'll see. His name is Chumballs. That's interesting. <laughs> so I have to rematch him. He drops 27 damage. Wait, you see, he declined. So maybe if you lose, you can decline the rematch. But if you win, you can't decline. I want to see if I gain points for this though, because I've seen some stuff on Twitter. Okay, no, I definitely gained like rank points. Huh, interesting. So I just looked and as a little side note, this Shaggy that I played, right? That he was, he was really good. He is 3000 in the world currently in one versus ones. So that's overall, not just Shaggy, but he's 3000 in the world. But then if you look at this bugs, he's uh, he's 6 million. So I don't think that there is any skill based matchmaking at all besides the rank because both of those players were unranked so i think that the matchmaking is based solely on rank and your skill based matchmaking or like your mmr level outside of ranked has zero effect on it so i think that this is a good thing because the mmr system is not it's not great like at all i think that the mmr system in this game is actually like pretty pretty bad so i i'm very glad that the rank system has a completely separate ranking metric than just the mmr measurements that they use and i'm also glad because i think that it's really weird to have both both casual and ranked be ranked at the end of the day because I mean I understand like skill based matchmaking but it would have been kind of redundant to make the unranked mode and the ranked mode have the same skill based matchmaking because then what's the point of even playing ranked I'm very happy that they decided to uh to do what they did with the ranked matchmaking and make it a completely separate that's just from what I can tell by the way that's not like a confirmed thing that's just like what I've noticed so far but this black item's pretty good also though I will say uh this is a two bar and like I noticed last game it was also a two bar so my hope here is that I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And I'm going to assume that the only reason that I'm having a two bar is because it's ranked servers that are bad and not servers in general. Because when I've been playing unranked for the past couple days to record or just to play on my downtime, whatever, I haven't been getting two bars. So I want to give the benefit of the doubt here and say that the servers are only bad for ranked because it's new and everybody's playing it, blah, 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 whatever. And that's why the servers are bad. Not necessarily that they didn't actually fix the servers. There we go. Black Adam is a pretty good uh, counter for Stripe as well, just because a lot of his moves work so well against Stripe. So this is going to be a bit of a rough match. I still think we might be able to pull this one out. This guy's good though. It also just doesn't help that it's a two bar. Like I really do think I'd be winning if it wasn't a two bar. Like you see right there how like laggy that was when he used the bubble. It's easier to notice in the moment than when you're like watching a video or something because you don't know what I'm inputting. You know what I mean? But like when you're actually playing on a two bar, you know what you're inputting and you know that like the moves that are happening and stuff are delayed, but you can't really see that when you're watching a video. So a lot of people are just gonna be like, oh, it's cold and like he's not actually lagging but like you don't really see the lag as much in a video unless it's like super major so i think that's just a general problem with the uh the community like saying that oh like streamers are lying or youtubers are lying like no just go play the game you'll feel it the servers have definitely gotten uh better though even though like i'm getting some two bars here and there at least i haven't gotten a one bar yet whereas like before this i literally took like a week break from the game because i couldn't play without like getting one bars constantly and that was the most frustrating thing about the game i should have got that kill there i messed up bad maybe there we go. Cool. GG. Um, I, I'm actually hyped to rematch this guy. He was pretty good. See, he switched to bugs. That's so lame. I was having fun playing against Black Adam because it's like a stripe counter and I enjoy playing against Black Adam since he's still new. And now I have to play against a bugs who I despise. I don't like that you're able to switch characters in between sets. I just think that's really lame. You queue who you want to play with. And you know, if you queue into a counter, that's tough. You deal with it. You know, you're going to have to play some, some people to counter you in this game. That's how it works. What? 
I mean, I didn't have the targeting on, but like still, I feel like that should have connected. Wow, that's a cheesy kill. See, stuff like that makes me glad that it's best of three sets because like that kill right there was just cheese. Bugs is so annoying. Also, Bugs got a buff in this update. I think they fixed the uh, shadow nerf that was happening to him, which means that it probably wasn't a shadow nerf, but just like a bug. Yeah, they fixed his his neutral air, his side air, whichever one had the problem. I don't even remember. Uh, I remember reading in the patch notes because that was the only change that he received. So I'm just, I'm thinking that that change was um just like, you know, fixing that one move that had like a bug or whatever, because why would they make a change to bugs and just literally change one random move? And the only thing that they changed was they made it connect into other moves better. So I like what kind of random buff? It, I just, I don't understand what the thought process would be behind taking character and saying, okay, we're going to take this one move and then make it connect into other moves slightly better. So I, I feel like that just means that they were fixing the problem with him that happened last patch and that it wasn't intentional. That's what it makes me think. Let me know if I'm wrong though, Bugs Mains, because I didn't fully understand what was wrong with him in the first place. I just heard some people talking about it. So yeah, let me know if that's what actually happened or if I'm just like reading too much into it. Playing against a character that literally performs at every range is just like, ugh, it's so annoying. Did I win? No way I hit his rock. Like, you see how dumb that rocket is? The rocket's hitbox should only be the front of it. I shouldn't hit the side of it and then blow up. Anyway, here's the final rematch. It's best of three, so that's cool. All right, the rematch to finish it all. Still a two bar, and he hasn't switched off bugs. We're gonna have to show him what's up for playing bugs. See, like that whole combo, by the way, people that are like, oh, Bugs, uh, uh, Stripes combos last too long. That whole combo, I only got 30 damage out of it. And like, that was a pretty lengthy combo. So it's just like, even if that combo is really huge and like super easy and everything, whatever you want to say, I only got 30 damage out of it. So I just don't see how that's like extremely broken. I just extended a combo for like the entirety of the match at the beginning, owned for the first like 10 seconds of the match straight and only did 30 damage. That just like, that's not crazy to me. I don't know. I think Stripe's in a very good point. I don't think anybody still thinks Stripe is OP. Like for the most part, I feel like people have kind of gotten off that like bandwagon of like Stripe's OP, which he, he was he was a little bit unbalanced in the beginning uh the more i look back at like old gameplay the more i searched was like yeah he was definitely too oppressive i still will stand by the fact that he wasn't like game shatteringly overpowered in the beginning however he was too strong and i'm glad he got some nerfs i still think he's playable right now i mentioned that in my video where i like talked about stripe after the uh the update and said that i think i'd overreacted to the patch notes originally so i, I think stripe's in a pretty good spot right now i just like i don't know i think he's fine right now i don't think he needs literally any changes i think he's in a very very good state i would say maybe reduce the cooldown of his gun from 14 to like 12 or something but even then that's not that big a change like it sounds like a big change because it's two seconds but in the grand scheme of things it's really just not that much because it's still very hard to perform the combos it's not like the combos are extremely easy or something if the combos were like if the combos were some crayon munching level of skill to pull off then like that'd be one thing but it's not easy to juggle people with stripe anymore especially now that you don't have the gunshots near as much and you actually have to like have good prediction and understand like the physics and like gravity of this game no way. Oh, I'm going to dynamite through the safe and then hit him. Wow, I'm so good. Wow, good dodge. That was fire. That was a really good dodge on him. I don't have any gunshots. I threw my saw blade the wrong way. I don't know what I'm doing. You're not You're not going into burrow. No way. <laughs> no way. I think I just lied for that. Wow. No, wow, I don't know how that one connected. That I don't think that one should have. Well, actually, no, because it was a chainsaw meeting another move head on. And uh, wow, that was perfect. Chainsaw should always have prior over something if, it, if they meet dead on, because the chainsaw has such a long like wind up compared to every other move in the game. There's literally not a move that takes more time to pull off than chainsaw to the, to my knowledge. So I think the chainsaw should have prior. Anyway, that was a pretty good set. Still, I don't respect the bugs pick, but that guy was good. That was a good set. I enjoyed that. I wonder if you gain more or whatever for bronze three new make achieved. Okay. Okay, so it goes up like bronze five is better than bronze one i i think i thought originally it went backwards like bronze five is the worst and you go up to bronze one ending at bronze three today first impressions of ranked just off of playing it this session alone there's one thing that I really hate about ranked just one specific thing I think that ranked was done very well for the most part I, I love the best of three I love the ranking system like all the different ranks that there are I, I like that there's actually like a ranked mode now and something to grind for I just the one thing that I, I can't really get over is that there's no placement system it just starts everybody in the lowest rank possible and you have to work your way up. I hate that. For me personally, I think that there should always be a placement system in ranked modes where, you know, you load in and say you have 10 matches or something. And after those 10 matches, it takes the outcome and like how you played in those 10 matches and it puts you in a rank. So for example, I could go do all my placements and then it would put me in gold two or something. And then I would start working my way up from gold two. Whereas right now I'm sitting in the lowest rank in the game. And like, I'm no pro, all right? I, I'm not like some incredible player, but like, like my, my stripe, for example, 
example, the character I've been playing with, I'm currently rank 1,400 in the world with Stripe. And like, this isn't even like a really high character or something. I'm just saying that's the character I was using. It just, it's it's weird to me that I'm sitting here with 100% win rate in the lowest rank, just winning everything. And there's no placement system to put me higher. And even some pro players that I follow. So this is a, a pro that I follow. And right now he's not even gold yet. And he has 100% win rate so far. He's been playing since ranked dropped, like the minute that ranked came out to, to my knowledge, because he's been, he's been tweeting about it for a while. So I just think that the system of no placements, like you have a pro player that's won every single game for six hours straight just now in like silver. I just think that that's really, really weird. In my opinion, there should be a placement system where you do X amount of games and then you get pre-placed into a rank to grind your way up from there. That's my only complaint with ranked so far though. I think that ranked is amazing. And with the server changes coming out and ranked coming out, I think both of these bode extremely well for the future of the game. And it's it's really starting to come together. You know, I'm starting to see the polished finalized game here. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Of course, if you've been enjoying ranked, if you've tried it out or not. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.